Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. We have already the cards on the table, I will guide you through them, the oracle cards first. Here and now, thinker, exchanging gifts, reflection, strength card, sensitivity, confidence is your key to success, a Leo oracle card by the way, hold your vision, Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, and healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Then the tarot, overall energies for you, six of pentacles, three of cups, queen of cups, four of swords. If you are single, you can face the devil, the eight of cups, the ten of cups, and the world. If you are in a relationship, you can face nine of swords, four of cups, ten of wands, and the judgment. Our focus is the emperor. The ability to take charge and action in a particular situation. So, guys, allow me to start from the scenario that can speak to those of you currently in a relationship. The Three of Cups energy paired up with the Six of Pentacles can be extremely tricky because it can describe, at the very least, a distraction. A distraction that maybe has ignited a one-man-up, one-man-down dynamic following the Six of Pentacles, and so it's like some of you have been taken advantage of by a partner because maybe they thought to be the smartest of the tribe when chances are they are not. So now there is a Four of Swords thinker process, allow me to say, that some of you are going through when it comes to the overall evaluation of your current relationship. Here and now. It's happening now for some of you. Your partner didn't show sensitivity towards you guys. You can master the virtue thanks to the Queen of Cups energy. We know that she comes from a place of love and heart and she is also able to figure out, to understand if the intentions coming from another person can truly be genuine and sincere enough to grant success in favor of a connection. Some of you are thinking deeply about that. It's like you are contemplating not just yourself in this relationship, but also your partner. The contemplation of self and others. Your person can freak out, they can lose their mind, the Nine of Swords, which is, for me at least, a self-inflicted torture. It's an energy that we do not need because we cannot think things straight if we fall for the Nine of Swords mentality. Anxiety, stress, racing thoughts, monkey mind. Your person is going through this type of process, unfortunately for them. They can try to hold on to you guys and to your relationship for their life. The Ten of Wands for me is the last mile, so your partner better be careful because it is not said that they can earn another chance following the judgment. The judgment is going to unfold as a um, please give me another chance, please don't leave me, even if I did something that was not positive for our relationship. And so the Four of Cups can be like the outcome that your partner may have to face because the divine offer can be an apology. They can bring it to you, but you can be the man or the woman under the tree in the Four of Cups kind of focused on the three cups down below, we got the energy, and so maybe not exactly um, fond of the idea to forgive 
a partner that may have betrayed you guys. So there can be the chance to talk with each other following the coffee cup or a cool card, meeting and conversing, but then some of you will have to make the healthiest possible choice, the healthiest possible decision for you. For others of you currently single, guys, you may have the opportunity to interact with two types of potential suitors. One can be an ex for some of you. And so there can be the encouragement to be smart and to think twice before you give these ex the green light once again. And the second type of suitor can be someone new or maybe a friend for some of you, but someone that doesn't have history in the romantic arena with you guys, someone that has also left behind problematic relationships uh, represented by the devil. Mm, this person in this specific scenario was not exactly lucky um, in the romantic arena. It's like they have always uh, chosen the wrong partner for them. So it was like a pattern in their life. The positive thing comes from the fact that the Eight of Cups word combination of energies can describe a major completion when it comes to a tormented cycle, you know? And now this person is moving forward in order to find the Ten of Cups. They can think that you can be the one that can join forces with them in order to build a healthy and fulfilling romantic connection. I would say that there can be the chance, but there is still work to do. I just want to add a quick note when it comes to the scenario about an ex. Guys, they can basically show up once again at your doorstep in some sense, despite how big was the ending between the two of you. And now they can try to play the role of a temptation because they can think that you are going to fall for them just like that. I would question this type of mindset, you know? So, um, you can smell troubles basically if this ex, um, shows up kinda, uh, asking you guys to try again when it comes to the, um, romantic relationship that you have already shared in the past. So guys, um, let's find out a little bit more about a couple of energies. Uh, for you, I want to see the Queen of Cups, the point of view of the Queen, because it seems to be the crucial one in the two scenarios that we have on the table. The one for those of you single and the one for those of you in a relationship. Two of Cups. You are coming from a place of love and heart. Seven of Pentacles. Time Factor. And the man is kind of thinking, you know, about something important. For your partner, I want to see the Ten of Wands because it is the last mile. So they can try to hold on to you guys, but it's also possible that they may have to let go, especially if you turn down their apology. Ten of Swords speaks for itself. King of Wands, they took a chance with someone else. It can be even a stupid mistake. Three of Wands, awaiting a standby, they can wait for your decision. Yes, in the meantime, they can freak out. 
in the single uh, scenario, I want to see I want to see the word, guys. Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Devil once again. Nine of Pentacles energy from the bottom of the smaller deck, the single lady. So, it goes like this. For those of you in a relationship, challenged by a potential betrayal, you have been taken advantage of, you can be aware of that. You can take some time, Seven of Pentacles, to evaluate the overall situation. If you think about the Two of Cups, chance to grow together with a special person, we can associate the concept to the old your vision oracle card. So some of you can realize that your partner has done such a stupid thing with a third person. And now there can be a snowball effect, a domino effect that can bring you guys to turn down the apology because you can say to your partner that they have turned their back on you first, following the Three of Wands. They have started to look elsewhere in order to entertain themselves in a different way from the usual. They took action, Emperor, King of Wands. The decision was not a healthy one, a respectful one, a fair one, now there are going to be consequences for that. The King of Wands can still try to make a move in order to convince you guys that you should stay with them, but the Ten of Swords is just around the corner, so it means that there is not going to be a second chance, the apology can be turned down, for some of you, it can be a matter of self-respect, integrity, considering um, the Six of Pentacles. And you can move towards singlehood, the Nine of Pentacles lady. I just want to add also that if you put the situation a little bit on the back burner, Seven of Pentacles, your person can truly lose their mind because they can be eaten by regrets. They can realize that they messed up big time. And then the Ten of Swords kicks in. It seems super difficult to avoid it, guys. I have to be honest. For some of you, it can be still uh, like a blessing in disguise because unfortunately your partner was not loyal to you. Um, they went behind your back. And so now they can be aware of the fact that they will have to look elsewhere for good in order to find a new romantic partner. For those of you single guys, uh, let's keep in mind the two scenarios that we have talked about. I want to say that if this person, the one described by these energies is an ex, they can truly be a problematic ex. Double devil. It was over for good between the two of you. The word life cycles, life chapters. You have been together for quite some time. This person hurt you guys. Maybe multiple betrayals. If we think about the three of cups, devil combination of energies as a recurrent um, pattern, you know? The Nine of Wands can be the Wounded Warrior, but this person, because of the Devil, can have a twisted mind and so they can try to play the victim role. The Knight of Swords, someone that can rush in, guys. And also an energy about Arch Wards, when it comes to fights, arguments, altercations involved 
in the connection in the past. It was truly a problematic relationship for some of you. Now this person can try to portray a completely different um, face, a completely different mindset in order to say to you that you can move closer and closer to the Ten of Cups together. It wouldn't be wise, guys. You can take some time, Seven of Pentacles, but basically you have already experienced the connection with this person. You got only downsides out of it. So a reunion is not in the cards. For others of you guys, um, this is a new person. Still valid the consideration about the fact that they have been hammered in the romantic arena. They can be the wounded warrior. They are dreaming about the Ten of Cups, but this Knight of Swords devil combination of energies is extremely tricky because this person can have somehow some way an idea that now every connection can turn out to be like the old ones which were extremely problematic for them so this person can have a lot of burdens Guys, there can be some type of common experiences between the two of you because of the past, but there can be red flags. This person can have a defense mechanism because of the Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, that brings them to react immediately when they feel threatened. If they experienced abusive connections, this can be justified, but it's not exactly your problem, you know? So you have to take a moment in order to think if there can be the chance um, to ignite a proper romantic connection. You can play the interaction in a nice way, considering the the light side of the Three of Cups energy, but you have to look for balance and you have to make your experience count. So there can be the chance because maybe the two of you are single following the Nine of Pentacles energy, but it is not said, it is not said, guys, that this person can be ready here and now for a healthy partnership. Exchanging gifts, for me, is an energy that can even be about the opportunity to share some time with a person that we care about. This can be an advice, maybe, for some of you when it comes to uh, a new interaction with someone new. Maybe the chance to get to know each other uh, a little bit more without rushing the process, something easy, you know, mm in order to find out um, information about each other. And then we evaluate. This can be fair as an approach, if you ask me. It is not said that this person can be a fair companion for those of you that can resonate with the scenario, because unfortunately the past can still play a decisive role in their mindset. And it seems that they can still struggle with the opportunity to let go of previous wounds or burdens, guys. So this is something that deserves um, your attention, I think. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.